I can only show you a bit of the, the palette, folks. This this is a larger board. It's uh, fourteen by eleven, <clears throat> and I can't extend the camera any further. Uh, no, it just wouldn't wouldn't work. <clears throat> so I'll try to. But I could take this this up a little bit, but I've got it clipped to the bottom. So I don't know what to do about that. So what I've got, I've got cadmium yellow at the bottom here. Yellow ochre, cadmium red, ultramarine, uh, red ochre or light red, you can, whatever you want. And some sap green. And I want to have a go at the River Parrot, as I remember it, from the bridge. Uh, fairly low horizon. Uh, Um, and the, 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 there's the river, and it's fairly flat in Somerset, not far from Glastonbury Tor, which I'm sure many folk are familiar with. And there were a lot of trees in the background here, some some blue ones behind. Um, and there were some bushes along the banks here with a tree coming up there but I'm not going to do any detail I'm just going to try and create the illusion of detail it's always been foreground fields across there uh, last time I was there it was a couple of years ago we went to a dear friend's uh, funeral uh, and we drove all around, uh, we're near Kingsbury Episcopi, a beautiful village, our friends lived. And there was this lovely view of the River Parra. I'm, I'm not going to do anything that resembles reality here because I, I, I haven't even bothered to look for the photographs I took. But I'm just going to make one up and so I'll use a knife painting for down here and I'll do some sky up here. So we want to get a, a nice gentle sky, so we'll have a bit of blue, or a lump of blue, a touch of red, and a load of white. And I'm going to put this on and I'm going to blend it with a, with a, with a brush. So let's just get some Get some of that in here. Should have been up a bit more, but I hope we don't. Well, I, can, I, can, I can use a knife for all this, so I'll have to knock up a lot more sky, a bit more red, a bit more of the blue. Ooh. Get my knives off of there, they're wobbling. I won't go right to the edge with this one because it's going to fit in the frame. And I'll go as close as I can though. So we won't uh, use a brush, I think, let's just put it on there.
Okay, well, we're coming on there. Clean the knife. Now I want to get a sort of a bit of light in, in the cloud or in, in the blue, against the blue sky. So we need a, uh, a warm colour. Oh, let's have uh, I'll, uh, I'll just clean that blue. Right, okay, that's uh, so we use a bit of bit of ochre, bit of yellow ochre, and a bit of uh, a bit of bit of the red ochre as well. Plenty of white in there. It's quite thin down at the bottom here, on the horizon, because we're going to. Oops. If we're going to go over that with uh, with some nice blues and greens. That makes your wrist hurt. Okay, we're down to the horizon now. Then we can thicken it up now. So a bit of bit, bit of warmer cloud too blue, too blue. Clean that off, put some more out. Hey, I had a bit of a shock yesterday. Uh, went into the range to get some, uh, well, mainly to get some paints, a large tube of uh, of burnt sienna and a bit of dryer and some paraffin. Uh, but, the, but in our local range, they've got a, an Iceland has just been put in, uh, built inside. It's a massive uh, warehouse. But they've changed it all around, and there I was bewailing the fact that Wilco's weren't doing any uh, of their 200mm tubes of acrylic. The range have moved their big, uh, lovely art, art section, and they've got rid of all the brushes and all the paints. So I won't be going there again. Well, not in a, in a hurry, I can tell you. So if I've misled you folks about the range, being good for for some art materials, I'm afraid you'll be very disappointed. So back to online, I'm afraid. There is a hobby craft nearby, but I'm going over there. I'll go another time. 
when things settle down a bit. Oh, I'll use another one now. Here's my favourite little knife. Must drink my cup of tea. with my big roll of uh, paper when I was there. So I also bought some beer mix but they've got they've reduced the range of their beers as well. So it's, there's nothing special for me. It was when I could get these materials and I don't know if any other range warehouses or stores are gone the same way but it's um, very disappointed with that. Uh, just a bit of a uh, Bit of local, well, that's too, too, uh, too oakery. So we're preserve the integrity of a, of a uh, knife painting rather than mixed techniques which I do like and I know a lot of you do but get a bit of, bit of blue under there, a bit of shadow, shadow. I don't want to repeat myself here, there and there, but uh, let's just go over the... Let's go over the edge there. What does that look like? Right, uh. right well, that looks different enough all over, doesn't it? So let's crack on and put some background. Right, now I've, uh, I haven't got paint spray on, so I can't mix that with the yellow but I go, I've got uh, this uh, lovely sap green and I'll mix blue with that a bit more red I had a little choke yesterday I don't know. 
guy uh, hoping the pubs open shortly uh, to stop him becoming an alcoholic. <laughs> oh, let's just get, get that one there. Some dark. Put a bit of, bit of blue in there. Let's try and leave a little bit of a there. And we go back to that so, sap green. Bit of red. Haven't used much cadmium red have I? Get some light green. So I'm painting quite a bright day. I will just come across there with a mixture of the blue greens, bit of white, Let's add a bit of ochre to that green. Just give this blue background in there, in that distance. Red, blue, yellow. I switch dark green now. This ball, the MDF, is this is a two millimeter, and my version of it is quite smooth. So I've given it a good rub down, but it's a very hard surface. Much any really bigger than this, I'll go to the three millimeter, which is much softer. Let's get a bit of blue in there. A 
I've lost my uh, Payne's Grey and that quick, that, that um, shortcut to the dark. So I'm having to do it with the green. Right, let's get some lighter, warmer green now. Just vary the uh, colours a bit and remember to drink my tea, so here we go. The shadow in. <coughs> Somerset is a beautiful county. As you do, all our counties are beautiful away from the urban sprawl. You've got to get your darks in. The shadow areas There's quite a lot of trees there. Let's just get uh, a bit of red in that, so. Just put some colour in, get some a bit of variety, and the red will complement the green. A bit, a bit sparing with it. I just right, okay. I'm not going to put any chunks or stuff like that in. Uh, well, we've got 24 minutes so far. Right, let's. Um, Get a bit of the river in. Oh, that's a Come in there, let's get the blue reflected in that bit of bit of red. And we've got to reflect that sky, those clouds in there. And we want a bit of that, uh, bit of that greeny colour in here.
Now that's far too uh, open there, so I'm going to be changing that. Let's go that blue. Keep this this thin because I'm going to have to put some reeds and stuff in in there. So you can push the paint into the uh, slight hollows of the board. You don't have to have thick plastered painting. A variety is good. We've got thick plastered there and we've got thick plastered there. Very much so. Hold it. Well, I just push the paint in, and then we can go back and put ripples and stuff on later once we've got the, the basics in there. Right now, the fun starts. We're going to have some nice fields. In there with lots of uh, try get lots of variety with my very limited palette. Uh, so we'll have a red, yellow ochre, bit of green, and green fields. I've used the sap green because it give a gives a much wider variety of greens. Especially with that, with that yellow. So let's. Uh, Nice bit of, bit of light in the field. I'll put some scrubby bits in as well. some greens in there now. I 
I'd like to mix a bit of red with the greens. Oh, God, tea. I'll do a bit of the other side now. Yeah, just uh, Right, now this side we've got the bush bushes full on here and, the, and here so we're sort of going to nothing over the, up the, to the top there Get a bit of a now a bit of right that's dark. A bit of dark in there. Right, more lumpy. Too, too light. Oh, 
I'm just getting the paint on. I'll, I'll try and refine it. Will I will I find out how to refine it? Where it needs refining. Yeah, real good dark there. Huh? Bit of green in that, so this little shadow area here. Trees, bit of green in that. Trees over over the bank. We have a big bush here as well. Well, we're getting there. That river's starting to come to life a little bit with that blending. Now, uh, let's get some good dark greens in here. Right, just, just an impression of, of, of a lot going on there. Right, now we're starting a bit of, bit of blending. It's a little bit of light coming through there.
can risk some of those ripples, you can overdo them. I don't think I'm going to do much more than that. It's quite difficult to uh, show this, the trees or the shrubby trees overhanging the banks. I'm not skillful enough to do that. Bit of rough ground here. Well, I, any more than that, I can't do. <coughs> That's probably a bit, uh, a bit naff. So I'll put it in a frame, and we'll have a. We'll have a look at it. Oh, the tricky bit. I'll put a couple of pins in the back of it. Just remove these clips here, remove the pallet, and put that there, and I'll zoom down. Oh, there we are with the power. There isn't a real focal point in this. It's just the it's the river where it goes round to the to the right, um, but I don't know if I can improve that. It looks more like a canal, doesn't it? Uh, but it was that bit was straight, that, as I recall. Not that it matters. It's a, a painting after all. But I quite like the sky. That's worked out okay. Uh, so we've got knife painting all over this one, and you can see you can see the knife marks in the blue. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I, I don't really want to show more reflection at the edge of the bank. It'll just end up ending up a mess. So thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.